energy levels maximized. Initiating resonance quality check. Sequence initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. Commencing broadcast. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, check this out. So it says here, NASA finds Earth-like planet that may harbor aliens, but can be confirmed only in 2017. Recently, NASA's Kepler's K2 mission journey uncovered a new planet. Called the K2-3D, it is thought to be harboring alien life. Taking great interest in the new planet, the National Astro Astronomical Observatory of Japan found that it was about 150 million light years away from the Earth. It was found to be 1.5 times bigger than the Earth, while it orbits a star just half the, si half the sun in size. One revolution lasts 45 days. Even though it is quite some distance away, the space.com says that the K2 3D planet shares man shares man excuse me shares man similarities with the earth many excuse me i think that's what we're going for there many similarities with the earth which might harbor and maintain life the characteristics include a warm and tolerable atmosphere quite similar to the earth it also appears to be hosting water as well as a star orbiting nearby. Hence the possibility of life on this planet is very high. While there is no way of confirming these speculations, such studies take a longer, longer time to prove than other space-related studies. The theories are most likely to be confirmed in the coming year. NASA will launch the Hubble telescope in the coming year in order to go for a, quote, more in-depth examination, end quote of the likely planet. The objective of NASA scientists would be to find two important characteristics that would confirm its ability to host life, clouds and hydro hydrogenic atmosphere. The attempt and the hope is to discover a hydrogen rich atmosphere or a blanket of clouds, says Dr. Bajorn Binecki at the California Institute of Technology. If this happens, the K2 3D planet will be the center for further in-depth and comprehensive research, confirming how much life it can hold. It says, quote, if we found any signal, then we would hit K2 3D extremely hard with James Webb te Space Telescope, NASA's successor to the Hubble Telescope, which will launch in 2018, Dr. Benek said. So that's kind of a... <clears throat> interesting little topic there simply because what do you guys think about aliens what do you think about um, possible other planets having and harboring life on them um, you know I gotta say I really think we're not the only species uh, you know out there I mean just look at earth for instance, we're not the only species on Earth, so is it so crazy to assume that we're the only species in the galaxy, in the universe? I gotta say no. And you know, I know there's those people out there that are non-believers, um, you know, and that's fine. Hey, more power to you. You believe what you want to believe that's not going to, I'm not going to lose sleep at night. If you don't want to believe that the high chance that there's actually other life out there that might be smarter than us currently, that might be more sophisticated technologically than us, um, that might, that might even have actually maybe even traveled here. Um, you know, I'm going out on a limb here, but it's possible. Just like you know, pigs can fly, you know, maybe one day they, they might be able to fly, who knows, but no, the point is, the chance that there's actual other life out there in the universe, I gotta say, is quite high, um, 
I know a lot of people subscribe to the whole, well, God only, you know, God made us. And okay, well, if God made us, riddle me this. What makes you think that God didn't make other things? Like, I don't know. Apparently, if God made us, he also made alligators. He made fish. Um, he made uh, salt and pepper, um, bananas. I think you get my point. So who's to say that God, and, and matter of fact, if God made earth, then didn't God make the star? And didn't God make all this other stuff? So who's to say that God did or did not make other life on other planets because well we know there's other planets out there you know as far as we know there's a uh, let's see venus there's mercury there's uh earth there's mars saturn you know list goes on so i guess the whole point of me ranting about this is i just can't believe that there's actually people out there that don't believe there's actual actual other life besides us um, that are running another planet. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're gray aliens. I've never seen a gray alien in real life um, that's moved around and blinked its big bulgy eyeballs at me and stuff. I've never seen one. I have seen um, a pretty crazy... Uh, incident i won't say it was a ufo because i don't know what the hell it was but what happened was this is when i was uh i want to say about 18 about 17 18 somewhere in there um i was in my backyard you know still living with the parents all that good stuff and just so happened to I was smoking a cigarette at the time and just shooting the shooting the shit with a, a buddy out back, and we were just talking about some s stuff. I can't even remember what it was. I think it was like, hey, where do you want to go get late night food? And we were gonna get like a Jack in the Box or something, you know, the tacos for ninety nine cents. Anyway, so you know, I just so happened to look up and to the left, and in between the trees, the pine tree and then the oak tree. Uh, just so happened to look up there was the moon above and then right below that probably I don't know an inch because uh, when you know you're looking up and you know an inch is kind of a decent distance from uh, from where the moon was I can't say exactly how far away it was but it was an inch below the moon give or take and all of a sudden, this white light just went like a, it made a Zorro uh, type Z and then vanished. And this was all within two seconds, I would say, if that. It was just voop, 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 and then t vanished. And man, it was nuts. So that's my experience. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, you know, I've had people say it was the Aurora Borealis or whatever. And, yeah, no, there is no, <laughs> there's no green and, you know, purple and all that, all those colors. No, it was just a straight up bright white light in the night sky. <laughs> um, clear as night. And no clouds around, nothing. It was just insane. And uh, I've told people that story, and, you know, they always look at me like, you, uh, you sure you weren't smoking some some crazy, uh, crazy stuff? And I'm like, no, believe me. It was a cigarette, and yeah. Still can't believe it to this day that I saw it, but it made a freaking Zorro Z very quickly, and then left, like just vanished. Um, like, it was... White light came in, voop, 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 and then poof, vanished. The white light went off. <clears throat> Still don't know what it was to this day. Probably a government 
uh, vehicle, test vehicle, something like that. Um, hell, who knows? Maybe it was a um, TR3B. I mean, those things are pretty, pretty damn cool. But uh, I couldn't tell you. Let me know if you guys have any stories that that you um, have had or any sightings you've seen because I, I'm definitely a believer. So, well, on that note, guys, you guys have a great night, and, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Tune in. Take care. You've been tuning in to the Destroyer of Mainstream show with your host, Greg McGinnis.